we have been talking about the instruction set of 8085 microprocessor this instruction set of 8085 processor consists of 80 basic instructions altogether that make a total of 246 operation codes this 80 basic instructions are conveniently divided on the basis of their functions into five different groups with data transfer group arithmetic group logical group often these are clubbed together under the title arithmetic and logical group of instructions branch group of instruction that will help in looping while programming and finally io and machine control group of instructions we have already gone through these 13 different data transfer groups of instructions the activities being performed by each and every instructions machine cycles involved in the instructions and their relevant timing diagrams number of t states for the instruction addressing modes and the flags affected and in fact none of the data transfer instructions affect any of the status flags now we will move on to arithmetic group of instructions there is a total of 20 different instructions coming in this category all of these instructions are meant for performing arithmetic operations that include addition and subtraction often multiplication and division are excluded from the case of arithmetic group of instructions or arithmetic operations as long as computer programming is concerned since multiplication is in fact a case of repeated addition and division involved repeated subtraction so we will generally have basic instructions that are meant for performing different type and categories of addition and subtraction operations now we will see all these instructions one by one first of all add register this is the format or the mnemonic of the instruction add followed by the symbol for the register say for example add b instead of this registers label I can have the symbol of the register in capital letters. So overall the instruction will be a capital letter instruction. And this asks the microprocessor to add the content of the accumulator register with the content of the register whose symbol is specified in the instruction as the second operand or as the operand. There is only one operand being seen. And place the result in the accumulator you already know that in all the arithmetic and logic in logical instructions one of the operand must be present or that will be already present in the accumulator register of the processor the other operand might be the content of a register or might be a content of a memory location pointed by hl pair or might be given as an immediate data as the next byte of a two byte or a three byte instruction so in this in this instruction add r the content of the accumulator will be added with the content of the register whose symbol is mentioned and the result will be placed in the accumulator register now the operation code is add and operand is the symbol of the register that is being specified now we'll see the machine cycles involved in this instruction this is a one byte instruction basically and it will take an opcode fetch operation for this instruction to be fetched into the instruction register from the memory location in which this instruction is being written as a part of a program so this require only opcode fetch operation because in the fourth t state of opcode fetch upon decoding the processor will understand that one of the operand is the content of the accumulator other operand is the content of a general purpose register all these operands are readily available within the interior of the processor there is no question of any further memory read or memory write or io read or io write operation that needed to be performed in order that one of the operand is being fetched to the interior of the processor
So since all the operands are readily available, in the fourth T state itself, immediately after decoding, the operation will be performed and the result will be placed in the accumulator. So there is only one machine cycle that is opcode fetch that will be completed in a total of four different T states. Three T states for fetching the instruction and the fourth T states for decoding as well as execution. Now the addressing mode of the operand. There are two different operand. One of the operand is the content of the accumulator that is already known to the processor by default. So for this operand, the addressing mode is implicit addressing mode because the processor already know that it is an arithmetic instruction. For all arithmetic instructions or in general, for almost all arithmetic instruction, one of the operand must be the content of the accumulator. And for this operand, that happens to be the content of a register to address that operand symbol of the register is being mentioned hence for this operand the addressing mode is register addressing mode now the status flags being affected affected all the arithmetic group of instructions affect all the status flags however there are one or two instructions that will not be affecting one of one or two flags that i will mention particularly if it is not mentioned particularly, you will have to understand that or it is implied that this instruction will be affecting all the status flags, all the five status flags. Now the second arithmetic group of instruction add M. This asks the microprocessor to add the content of the accumulator with the content of the memory location pointed by HLPR and place the result in the accumulator. So this involve all these activities, adding the content of the accumulator with the content of the memory location pointed by HLPR and placing the result in the accumulator register. Now the machine cycle involved, add M is also a one byte instruction and for fetching the instruction from the memory location to the instruction register of the processor, there will be one machine cycle that is opcode fetch. In the fourth T state of opcode op fetch machine cycle, that is the first T state of execution cycle, the processor will identify that one of the operand is the content of the accumulator, whereas the second operand is the content of a memory location that is being pointed by a cell pair. So this operand is not present within the interior of the processor it's outside the processor that is to be fetched from this memory location whose address is there in the hl pair in order to perform this a memory read operation needed to be undertaken by the processor so there will be a memory read machine cycle as well this overall there will be a total of two different machine cycles of code phase and memory read for completing opcode phase, we require four different T states and for memory read operation, three more T states that make overall T state for the instruction that is seven. Now addressing mode, for one of the operand, the address, uh, addressing mode is implicit addressing mode since it is known to the processor by default that one of the operand is the content of the accumulator. Whereas for the second operand, the content for the operand happens to be the content of a memory location that is indirectly pointed using this HL register pair. So for this operand addressing mode is register indirect addressing mode. For this instruction also all status flags will be affected. Another addition operation or uh, op code or basic instruction that is ADC content of register ADCR say for example ADCB, ADCD. ADCE, any particular general purpose register can be used in this case. Even ADCA is also possible. Now this asks the microprocessor to add the content of the accumulator with the content of the register whose symbol is mentioned here and along with the content of the carry status flag or content of the carry being generated in the very earlier instruction that has just executed. So this asks the processor to add the content of the accumulator, content of the register whose symbol is mentioned along with the content of the carry status flag. And ask the processor again to place the, this result in the accumulator register.
Now machine cycles involved. This is also a one byte instruction. Hope code needed to be fetched. Upon execution, the processor will identify that all these operands are readily available within the interior of the processor. It will be immediately performing this operation. So there is only opcode fetch operation so that there will be overall a total of four different t states. Now addressing mode, this is implicit and for this addressing mode is register addressing mode. C is also mentioned here for carry status also you can say that the addressing mode is register addressing mode symbol for carry status is insoked within this mnemonic part. All status flags will be affected. Now for one ADCM similar to this one we have M instead of R. M is the memory pointed by HL pair. So this asks the processor to add the content of the accumulator with the content of the memory location pointed by HL pair along with the content of the carry status flag that is being resulted in the very earlier operation and place the result in the accumulator register. This is also a one byte instruction. So definitely there will be opcode fetch. Upon starting execution, the processor will identify that one of the operand is the content of the memory pointed by HL pair. So this operand needed to be fetched from the memory location pointed by HL pair to the interior of the processor, generally to the temporary register associated with the ALU of the processor as long as 8085 processor is concerned. That requires the expenditure of a memory read operation. And once this content is <coughs> made available within the interior of the processor, the addition will be performed at once and the result will be placed in the accumulator. So there will be a total of two different machine cycles of code fetch and memory read so that the total T states requirement for this operation will be 7. Now addressing mode for this one it is implicit and for this one register indirect because the operand is being indirectly pointed by the HL register pair and for this one you can say that the addressing mode is register addressing mode. So I have mentioned only register indirect addressing mode here. All status flags will be affected. Now the fifth one ADI data. Say for example ADI followed by a 2 byte data. Say for example say 0 5. This asks the microprocessor to add the content of the accumulator with the immediate data that is being mentioned as the second byte of the instruction. So this asks the processor to add the content of the accumulator with the immediate data being specified as the second byte of the processor. Now number of machine cycles involved. You can identify that basically this is a 2 byte instruction. 0, 05 is already 1 byte length then definitely ADI needed to have a 1 byte long code. So overall this is a 2 byte instruction that consume two different consecutive memory locations once you are going to write this instruction in a program. In the first memory location ADI code for ADI will be fed and the opcode for this will be fetched in the first machine cycle that is opcode fetch. In the fourth T state of opcode fetch machine cycle upon decoding the processor will identify that it asks the processor to add the content of the accumulator with the content of the immediate data that is present in the next memory location of the program. So that needed to be fetched or brought rather than fetching that needed to be brought into the interior of the processor that require a memory read operation. And once this memory read operation is performed this data will be fetched into the processor and once this data is available within the interior of the processor it will be added with the content of the accumulator and this result will be placed in the accumulator. So overall there is a total of two machine cycle opcode fetch and memory read. Opcode fetch require four different T states and memory read operation require three different consecutive T states. Overall that make the T state for this instruction as say 7. Now addressing mode for this is implicit and for this data 
or operand is readily given that is immediate addressing mode and all start 